First, I think we'll use the scratch cat as the main enemy. We can make this evil, trust me. We make the ears sharp and we need to get rid of the eyes. Oh, that's literally perfect. Okay, that scratch cat looks evil already. I don't know why, just small eyes that make you look evil. Now, I'll keep the smile, but I'll make it like a scary smile. Scratch cat is evil already. That was so easy to- Oh, we make the whiskers scraggly. Never trust someone who has scraggly whiskers. I know that from experience. Now we need a different background. I can't, I can't use a white background. i would make the game not scary. <laughs> City at night. Literally the perfect backdrop for the cat invasion. Now, I need the main protagonist, Long Boy Jamal. You, no one stands like that. If you stand like that, you just, you either have a bone condition or you're just weird. Okay, let me put the shoes back on. Ouch. That, it looks like it hurts when he stands. And then he's just stooped over like that. Poor Jamal, honestly. Now, he's gonna be holding, he's gonna like be trying to fend back the cats. Like, maybe a gun, but I would get banned if I used a gun. Maybe a nerf. They won't ban me for that, maybe. I hope. Also, jeez, his legs are huge. He's gonna be holding a nerf gun because Scratch doesn't like violence. What I'm doing here goes against every Scratch guideline, so you better subscribe. I'm doing this for you guys. This is a huge nerf gun, but that doesn't matter. There is Jamal, our, our main character. Jamal's gonna be stuck in like a fever dream. He's gonna be stuck running. If you ever have those dreams where you're running, you're just stuck like you're, like you're in syrup and you just want to run away from something evil. No? It's just me. Okay, I, I'll make the cats go from the center of the screen. They'll start at the center in a random direction and then move 300 steps. That'll make the cat go to the edge of the screen and then... Wait, no, I'm doing this wrong. This needs to be when the green flag clicked. This needs to be in when I start as a clone. Okay, then point towards the mall and then move three steps. I also need to do the costumes. There, there's the, the, the walking cycle is already creepy at the start. There's no human that walks like that. It's gonna look so scary when I'm done. Oh, what? Why does that look scarier than... Should I keep it? No, I'll, ju I'll just leave it. I barely had to change anything to make Scratch Cat scary. That's scary in itself. Oh, the whiskers. There we go. This evil Scratch Cat's walking cycle is complete. Now, let's create clones. Wait, 0.5 to 1 second. Create clone of myself. Oh jeez, that is scary. Just being surrounded by by a huge horde of evil scratch cats. That is terrifying. If that happened to me, I would just I would just pretend I was dead. <laughs> now, Jamal, he's just standing there. He needs to defend himself. So can we paint a bullet? No, I mean a nerf dart. Nerf dart. FBI, open up! Oh, that's a strange looking nerf dart, but I think the look will work. You know what I should have been doing? I should have been making this video at 3 a.m. in the middle of the night so I would jump scare myself. But I'll, I'll leave that to the player. So when you play the game, you have to play it at 3 a.m. Okay, when I start as a clone, show, go to Jamal. Jamal, point towards mouse pointer, forever move 10 steps. Easy bullet code. And then if mouse down, then create clone of myself. Okay, that's that's overpowered. Let me make it more, less. Okay, oh. I forgot to make Jamal have any code. I'll just make him rotate towards the mouse since he's stuck in the middle of the screen like a bad nightmare. Armed with just a nerf dart, Jamal will take down this army of scratch cats. They're just swarming over him. Jeez. Okay, let me make the nerf darts actually kill the, these cats. If touching... Wait, this needs to be separate code so I don't mess with the movement. If touching nerf dart, then set brightness to 100. Wait, point one second, set brightness to zero. Oh, I need to make a health variable. The enemies being one hit will not make the game harder. Okay, and then if health is less than one, then delete this clone. I have the perfect horror game. Oh, oh, I need to set health to zero or else they'll just delete themselves. Oh, I also need to delete the bullets. That would be overpowered also if they just went through all of the enemies. Okay, I think we have the beginnings of a very intricate horror game. Okay, now the second step to making a horror game, you always need to have jump scares. If you don't have a jump scare, it's not a horror game. <laughs> And since I want to scare little kids on scratch, I need to make it a scary jump scare. So, there's those default uh, scratch sprites. It's Nano, Giga, and what was the other one? Where is it? It's those just weird gobo. Here we go. Weird sprites that no one uses. I'm gonna make these into terrifying demonic creatures. I have never see seen a scratch project that ever uses gobo before. Okay, and then get rid of those cute big eyes. And then we need to change the color. Not brown, red. Yes, the color of blood. 
space them wide apart and you have the perfect recipe for a horror character. All right, I think now I need to make a jump scare. Luckily, this is very easy in Scratch. Uh, I'll make the jump scare show up like maybe every 10, 20 to 30 seconds. So it's unpredictable. When I receive jump scare, then show, repeat 10. And I have the perfect sound for a jump scare. It's very loud. And that's what makes the jump scare. It has to be loud. Listen along very carefully. This is the perfect recipe for making a scary jump scare. You need to, it needs to move around like that. It needs to hide afterwards. It needs to be quick. Are you listening? Okay. And then it needs to rotate. This is literally what every jump scare does. Rotate and then it needs to change the size. That's it. 500 to 1000. That's the perfect jump scare recipe. Now, I also need the game over screen. Jamal just touches the cats and does and nothing happens. You died. I'm gonna make the jump scare also when you died too. Just for the fun of it. I like scaring people. <gasps> I forgot one thing. You also need that, the vignette, the, the black edges vignette. I think that's how you spell it. All horror games have it. It always gets dark around the edges of the screen. If you don't have that, then you don't have a horror game. Oh, that's perfect. Now it's gonna be so hard to see where the cats are coming from. He's gonna be shaking in his boots, literally. It's very slight, but he looks like he's scared now. And I, I would be scared too if I was in a horde of zombie cats. They just spawn from eternal darkness. That's actually so creepy. This, this is the perfect horror game. And then I need to get it banned to complete the challenge. Okay. <gasps> That scared me. That scared me so bad. I didn't expect it. I mean, I was expecting it, but I wasn't at the same time. Okay, now I need a mini jump scare. This is optional. I'm gonna use those, where's the Pico? Is it Pico? No. <gasps> Actually, Pico would be perfect. Look how evil Pico looks. This is gonna be so easy to make scary. And what are these things? They're what a person would look like if you wore headphones all the time. There's no, there's no scary game where the head is bigger than the body. I think, I, I don't play scary games that much i don't like them this is gonna be not jump scare it's the mini jump scare so like gets the person ready prepared for the jump scare for the for the real jump scare that is this one needs to be like less visible five five so it just fades out let me make the size less too now i and i just need music now i always scare myself when i die it's terrible i'm scared by my own game i can't imagine what's gonna happen to the average scratcher when they see the game it's gonna scare them out of their diapers I would use the scratch default sounds, but those are like, those are just terrible. No one uses those. Oh geez, it's so hard. I, I need to make the health less. They're just overtaking me. I, I, I just stopped it. I, I can't deal with that. I can't deal with this horror. Last thing I need is a score. And then every time you survive a jump scare, you gain 10 points. A perfect scratch horror game. It's gonna be called Scratch at 3 a.m. And the instructions are just gonna be sur to survive. You better like and favorite this and get this on the explore page. And play this at 3 a.m. Someone please play Scratch at 3 a.m. at 3 a.m. 